hi guys and welcome to today's video so today's video is going to be my top rainy day perfumes when i say rainy day perfumes i'm not saying that these are perfumes that i only wear during rainy days but here where i live especially we have rainy season from june pretty much through october i live in the sunshine state but it's definitely during these months that we kind of have up and down weather it could be beautiful sunny bright and then the next minute it could be a torrential downpour like right now it's it's pretty sunny but it rained earlier this morning so this video is fragrances that either remind me of how it feels after the rain it has something kind of gray about it or it's just something that's kind of comforting that i enjoy wearing when i know it's gonna rain so i'm grouping these because i've noticed that certain notes tend to kind of give me that rainy day feeling or after the rain feeling so i'm gonna try to go through it that way and let you guys know what what note it is that gives me that give you guys different scenarios we have quite a few to go over so let's go ahead and get into the video first perfume that i would say not only gave me like rainy day vibes but it gave me a specific feeling. And that perfume is Marc Jacobs Decadence, oh so decadent. So this is not the original, this is a flanker. And this was one that I actually got accidentally. This was a perfume that I hauled in 2019 when I started my whole fragrance channel, where I switched. And I ended up really falling in love with this one. But this was a scent that for whatever reason, whenever I would smell it, I said that it reminds me of whenever I would watch movies that were like in Ireland and they would always show the green pastures and just that famous park in Ireland. I imagined this, this scent. Specifically, P.S. I Love You. I love that movie. I have mentioned that movie in several of my videos that I imagine that scene when I smelled this perfume. And then I slowly started to realize that Lily of the Valley, which was actually the last floral note that I was supposed to go over in my floral series, but I only have like three or four Lily of the Valley scents. So I just decided to include them because I realized that that is a note that I associate with like the scent of rain. I don't know what it is about Lily of the Valley. It just has something very dewy, clean, and fresh about it. And whenever I can pick up that note, it just reminds me of after the rain. But the sun is coming out or maybe the clouds are rolling in. Like, it's not gray. It's like maybe it's rained and now the sun is peeking through. That's kind of what Lily of the Valley reminds me of. And this one is Lily of the Valley. It's got like a fruity top. I believe there's pear in this one. Kind of juicy and fruity at the top, but not overly. Just a nice kind of green, fruity, white floral kind of scent. Very dewy and again, just gives me that total after the rain feeling. And again, that is Marc Jacobs Decadence, oh so decadent. So another Lily of the Valley scent is Lucky by Christian Dior. This one is definitely more floral, it's a little bit more mature. It's more Lily of the Valley forward, but it's got that same after the rain dewy scent. This one's more like the hills are alive with music. <laughs> that scene where she's just spinning around. Again, not gray, it's rain, the sun is peeking out what this one is and again that is lucky by christian dior all right and last for my lily of the valley this is from the clean reserve line and this is from the avant garden collection and this is muguet and skin and i am going to be going over this house because a lot of these fragrances actually kind of remind me of rainy day fragrances i have three from the avant garden collection in this video oh my goodness this does have a slight grayness to it so this one to me is a little bit more woody and musky i do get the lily of the valley but musk is another note that kind of gives me that it's about to rain kind of freshness to my nose 
So the next category I'm gonna go over are musky fragrances. This one has a woody and musky base. I do get the Lily of the Valley, so there is something kind of dewy about this one. I had a subscriber tell me that th that Muguet actually means Lily of the Valley, I believe in French. And then I had another subscriber when I was talking about one of these fragrances because I mentioned rainy day fragrances a, a lot. She had said that I must enjoy this scent um, of petrichor. And then I had to look it up because I'm like, what does that mean? So petrichor is the earthy scent produced when rain falls on dry soil. So I would say that now we're heading into those kind of scents. There's something earthy about this one. And again, woody and musky. Okay, so next we're getting into musky scents. Now, this next one is another one where I'm going to go over this house. I don't know which one I'm going to do first, but I am planning on doing the clean house and I plan on doing a house review on Narciso Rodriguez. This is a house that is known for musk. And again, musk is just something that, especially when it's a clean musk, it just gives me that it's about to rain kind of freshness, that kind of feeling. Yeah. And I wanted to put this scent in here to represent the entire house just because this scent in particular reminds me of rain because of how I associate this scent. So if you guys have been watching my channel, you know that this was my wedding day fragrance. This was a scent that I not only wore on my wedding day, but I wore it around planning my wedding and also like for my rehearsal dinner, just because I wanted to, whenever I smelled this fragrance, remember that day. Our wedding was outside and they allowed us to practice the day before and it rained as we were practicing. We got rained on and we couldn't finish practice, so we had to actually practice here in the house because it started pouring and I remember I had this scent on so that was the start of kind of that musk reminding me of the scent of rain and then the day of my wedding I remember just as the limo had gotten here and it was going to take us to our venue which our ceremony and reception were in the same place the clouds started to roll in and as we were headed to the venue, it started to rain. And I remember thinking, we're gonna have to go to plan B because our ceremony was outside. Luckily, it only rained on this side of town. So it didn't rain, but you know when it's going to rain, just the scent of that. I think that's why I always think of rain whenever I spray this, because it was going to rain that day. So not only does this house just totally give me rainy day vibes but this perfume in particular again that's narciso rodriguez for her and this is the eau de toilette kind of another scent this is actually said to be a dupe for narciso rodriguez for her i think the eau de parfum but that is lovely by sarah jessica parker and i have mentioned before that this kind of it, again i think it's musk the the next few i'm gonna go over just give me that fresh it's going to rain kind of scent you know it hasn't rained yet it's going to rain kind of scent this one's a little bit more clean a little bit more fresh i would say that oh the toilet's a little more unique this one i would say is easier to wear kind of like the pink bottle the eau de parfum so next we have kayali musk 12 and again this one it's the musk but there's a sweetness to this one that make this kind of cozy and kind of give me a little bit of a gray feeling. Something about this one, and it's gonna lead me into the next few I'm gonna talk about, kind of give me a gray, cozy feeling, like it is actually raining. Whereas these were more after the rain, dewy, right before the rain. Now we're heading into the fragrances that are more cozy, or maybe they're a little cold and they give me a gray kind of rainy feeling. So Kayali Musk is still a little fresh, but now we're getting into the cozy side. So this is Kayali Musk 12. Next we have two from Replica. And if you guys saw my last haul of 2021, I had mentioned both of these being kind of gray, 
rainy day scents but more so a scene because that's what this house does i'm not sure if replica is niche but to me they're very artsy and very unique kind of like niche fragrances they evoke feelings this one has the fragrance description of creamy and cozy coffee and this one of paper and waxed wood but this one you're in a coffee shop and this one is the aromas that are in the air i had said that this is like walking to a coffee shop and you're hit with different like aromas you're kind of hit with the aromas of coffee maybe lavender they're like shooting lavender through the vents it's cold when you walk in there so there's something a little cold about this scent this has kind of something kind of like tonic about it and then there's something woodsy about this one all those kind of fragrances wrapped up into one and swirling around you that is coffee break this definitely evokes the feeling of being at a coffee shop but i almost envision it's raining and if you guys saw my video i had said that in that video as well another kind of gray scent is whispers in the library now this one i know to some people is like maybe a rainy day and you're reading books but i i had said in that video that it reminds me of more like the pages of a like of a magazine like you're flipping through a magazine and maybe you catch a whiff of like the insert of like a perfume sample that's what this smells like definitely get something kind of waxy about this one this one is a little gray and i do get the paper scent but it's more like the papers of a magazine but again that is replica and we have coffee break and whispers in the library so another gray scent that i mentioned in that video is gris dior by christian dior i also mentioned this scent in my winter perfume video and I described it as like think of a like a rose bush the rose the bush the stem the earth that it's in and it's rained that's what this smells like it's very gray and kind of dewy earthy there's oak moss in here and anything with moss or oak moss especially when it's very prominent um, kind of gives me that earthy wet kind of feeling and again that's Gri Dior by Christian Dior so the next few that I'm gonna go over to me are kind of those woody kind of wet fragrances so the first two are from the clean reserve avant garden collection and we have sweet briar moss and galbanum and rain so sweet briar moss this one is woody green mossy there is a touch of sweetness to this one i would say it's the moss that kind of gives me that vibe and then galbanum and rain this one to me smells like they they were trying to capture the whole after the rain kind of wet soil scent this isn't going to be for everyone these are kind of like replica they kind of evoke like a scent description these next few are kind of like forest kind of scents this one when you think of like a tree and it's got like the green growing on top of it it's kind of what this one smells like and then this one is when you think of the wet earth is what galbanum and rain smells like then woody sage by dossier this one is inspired by wood sage and sea salt by joe malone and this to me is a rainy day on the beach i've said this before this kind of reminds me of a private beach so it's secluded this also smells expensive so i've always said it kind of reminds me of a scene like maybe a private beach on the hamptons and you're walking to your neighbor's house with like champagne and you're walking barefooted and maybe you pass like driftwood or something because it's got something kind of woody there's something salty about this scent but 
This scent also reminds me of, and I've said this, but I've actually cut it out of my videos. I think the song is called Yellow. I think Coldplay Yellow. And he's like walking on the beach and it's raining and he's in a raincoat. That's what I imagine he's wearing. He's wearing this, this fragrance. Okay, another kind of woody, rainy scent is by Rado's Balda Freak. Now, this is a scent that I definitely wear all the time. This is so effortlessly casual but like classy casual like you're wearing a white button down kind of shirt but i think it's the vetiver in here that just gives me that kind of wet wood feeling again i i wear this all the time but something about this scent does give me kind of kind of that after the rain woody i think it's the vetiver that's in here this is a very beautiful vetiver scent it just gives me that kind of wet feeling and again that's by Rado's Balda Freak. okay these next two are again woody rainy kind of fragrances but more on the enchanted forest kind of side so if you guys have watched my channel you guys know that Lolita Lampica has always been a fragrance that I have described as whimsical and kind of enchanted forest like definitely after the rain the sun is coming out and you think of like the sun peeking through like the forest a little bit of the brighter side and then most recently I got ebony wood thanks to my girl Anna who has described this scent as an enchanted forest but like a dark enchanted forest. So whimsical, fairy-like, dark, maybe Maleficent kind of enchanted forest. This one I would say is definitely more wet earth. Now I will say that this one, I really like the opening of this one, but after the two hour mark, it gets a little masculine and a little cologne-y. So it's one that I enjoy the opening and then and that two hour mark, I've layered other kind of woody fragrances on top just because it gets a little too cologne -y. But I really, really like the opening of this one. It's, something about it's kind of sweet, like fruity. They, they only list like three notes, but there is something fruity in the opening. I'm not sure what it is. I think they list uh, ebony, pink pepper, and some other, I don't know if it's clove. So... I definitely get all that in the dry down, but it's a little bit more fruity at the top. Sweet. But yeah, this is another one that is kind of like an enchanted forest, but like the darker side of an enchanted forest. Okay, and then we have my last three fragrances. These are my cozy bedtime rainy scents. So I don't know what it is about sandalwood, but these two fragrances in particular give me nighttime cozy under the cover rainy day kind of vibes especially this one this one i would say um it was more so gris chanel by bdk that gave me that kind of vibe I, but i only have a travel of that one and this one is a little more cozy a little more lectonic that one's more spicy but this one ended up becoming kind of a bedtime more so around winter kind of scent for me gris chanel was a little bit more gray and rainy but i did want to mention this one because it, it, it evokes a little bit of a rainy day this one's definitely more cozy and it does give me something kind of rainy especially ariana grande's rem this one it's got a touch of sweetness but not a lot for me i get the lavender and the sandalwood and again for whatever reason sandalwood especially when it's you know predominant in a fragrance it gives me cozy kind of rainy day under the cover vibes so these i've been wearing more so to bed this one more when it's cooler i like this one this one's definitely more year round again that is ariana grande's rem and van cleef and arpel's santal blanc all right then last we have ariana grande's cloud intense and I find Cloud and Cloud Intense to be bedtime fragrance. Like they've officially become cozy bedtime fragrance. What makes this one more of a rainy day fragrance and it's kind of cheesy. This bottle, especially the original, they remind me of Care Bears. I'm an 80s baby. I grew up with Care Bears. So it's a cheesy bottle, but 
I kind of like it for that reason. But this one reminds me of Grumpy Bear where he has like that rain cloud on his stomach. So this has become like my rainy day nighttime perfume for that cheesy reason. I don't know what it is. You guys know if you've been watching me, you know I'm a daydreamer and it just reminds me of rain, a rainy day. I think it's again the, the rainy cloud that's on here that just kind of reminds me of Grumpy Bear from Care Bears. That is my very long list of fragrances that I enjoy for either rainy days or they just evoke that kind of rainy day feeling. Again, these aren't only reserved for rainy days, but I, I do gravitate towards these fragrances when I know it's gonna rain or it's raining and I haven't put on my scent of the day. I tend to look for one of these comforting scents. But let me know in the comments below, do you guys gravitate towards fragrances when it's going to rain? And if so, what are those fragrances? But that will do it for today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys.